So today I would like to talk about Gwyn Griffith's translation of Plutarch's The Iside et Osiride, a book that I reached for back in 2006 at the National Library of Wales, Cambry, when I was a student at the University of Aberystwyth studying international politics and intelligence studies. I found it an extension of my occult and personal studies and I would like to share my discoveries after years since reading it with the rest of you. It was published by University of Wales Press in 1970. So what do we have here in the appendix? And I will focus on the appendix directly, divine equations. So first of all, let's receive the spirit which receives is Amun. What does it receive? That what is concealed. What is concealed? The veil of Isis. Isis guards secrets. During the Eleusinian mysteries, when the initiates, guided by the Epopteion and the Hierophantides, symbolizing Demeter and Kore, successfully descended to Hades or Tartarus and re emerged in soul back to their bodies, to the Dionysian tomb. The veil was lifted so that they could see the worlds of gods, of spirits, of Agatha's daimones, and join the procession that was also linked with the Hermes Thrice Great. The Tris Megistos means to descend, to live a noble life, and to ascend in arete, in virtue. Now, Amus, Amun is also equated to Zeus, the Demiurgoi, the ordering principle. The lightnings of Zeus are the lightnings of illumination that tries, try to fish out the people locked in the Plato's caves, the Plato's catacomb, that cannot see what is concealed and they are living in the world of shadows. In as much as, for example, physical astronomy is the study of shadows, of the philosophical divine essences, that are divine and transcendent. Now later we go to Anubis. Anubis, the dog, is equated with Kronos, the time god, the Saturnian Kronia. Kronia was celebrated in Greece in July and uh, along with the Hecatomb or the Hecatean festivals. Now, dog in the form. Dog was an animal of Artemis Hecate or Hecate Drachaina because it howls and barks at the moon. Because like the howling dogs of the Ktonic realms, they try to howl at the ascending spirit. They are howling at the moon because they do not know that there is a super celestial, super serenic world Selene, by the way, means the Isle of the Blessed in Old Greek, and Olympus means time in ancient Orphic studies. Now, the dog in name with the additional meaning of conceiving or also understanding God and attendant of Isis. Heros, Heros, Isis means the most sacred of sacreds. Hecate in significance. That is Hecate in physis or matter form, not the air or the cosmic waterways and gateways of the air, and Ignis, that means the suprasolar worlds of divine fire. Now, Hermanubis is a connection of Anubis and Hermes, and he guarded the thrice transcended worlds. He was also a communicator throughout the Hecate that stood also for the world soul. The horizon, revealers of matters pertaining to the heavens. As I said, he is a communicator that is initiating into the Hecatic Anima Mundi mysteries. Now Aphrodite, the mother of Harmonia, she is also equated with the Egyptian goddess Nephthys, the Omega, inasmuch as Isis is Alpha, quadrilateral in nature that relates to the theology of arithmetic and divine geometry. She is also linked with summer. Now Apis and Nevis. Apis was the bull from the east, Nevis was the bull from the west. 
The bull and its horns symbolizes the rise of the constellation as well as the divination into stardom of the star, the sun, between its horns. That's why it is the corporate image of the soul of Osiris, son of Mnevis. Notice that in Mithraic mysteries, the tauroctony or the slaying of the bull is exactly of the same symbolism. It is portraying both constellations and deep mystagogic and pneumagogic truths of initiatory value, like the Mithraic cave. Now we go to Apollo, or Horus the Elder, the highest Neptune name of the Pharaoh, Haroesis Horus, which means also the monad in the solar understanding of the Heliotic, Hyperionic, Ionic, Zervanic, first transcendent and the number one. The stars are many and every star is a monad. And it is a corridor of fire in Chaldean mysteries that leads to the divine fire. Now Apophis, brother of Helius, the Schwarze Sonne, the Black Sun, the Black Dragon, and enemy of Zeus. It is a brother of the Sun because it's its Azotian counterpart, which tries to attack the Sun but is contained by Seth. There we have the Eastern Persian beliefs of Arimanus as the creator of evil, but let's not go into the Manichaean dicta here. Ares, father of Harmonia, Triangle in nature, Martian and Valiant, but also representing justice. The Argo, image of the vessel of Osiris, Jason and the Argonauts contained plenty of important initiatory myths, just like the Odyssey. Odysseus means the great journey, and Odysseus meant the voyager, the journeyer. Now Arsaphes as Dionysus and Artemis, again theology of arithmetic, the diet, the first that craves to return to the monad, the bow of harmony, harmony of tension, harmony within tension against opposition and against being pulled into the void. Now furthermore, Athena, equilateral triangle, the Hebdomad and Isis, Athena, Parthas, Athenais, Nemanus, hmm, Atheri, Isis, Isis as ethers of the air, of the cosmic airs and the four or eight directions. Bebon, one of the companions of Typhon, another Egyptian god, the talking monkey. Now, Cronus as Anubis is time, as mentioned earlier, or Olympus, and represents winter. I like the William Blake's proverb of hell, that in summer teach, in winter enjoy. Somehow, all my lovely girls that I found, I associated with in winter time. Now Cronus, tear of the sea, because it is the eternal sea of Ereb. Demons, the great demons that become gods and goddesses. It is mentioned in Plutarchus that good demons become gods and goddesses. Like Typhon, Osiris and Isis. That's why the formula is Heros, 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 Hosius and Apophis or Typhon. Then, so that would be descent, being slain, being seen, and ascent, being healed. Then, the matter as corn quadrilateral in nature, core spirit with permeates the earth and crops Dio matter, or the twin split of the divinity. The mother of gods, Magna Mater, also Phrygian Kybele, Demeter, Diometer. The Kyosine as justice, that is Isis, as the base of the triangle, and the other arm um, is Osiris and Harpocrates. Here Dionysus as Arsaphes, bringer of two bulls from India, 
Epaphos heard of the sacred basket Lignites, the baskets that are offered in processions or the metaphysics or the Pompeian towards the gods, if you want to know more, relate, refer to Thesaurus Cultus at Ritus Ritum Antiquorum. A god who once was a good diamond, that means that being a good diamond preceded becoming a god. Also, Hades, the Epopteion in Eleusinian Mysteries, is Hades as the initiator standing between Demeter and Kore, that is initiating the Mystes into becoming little gods and goddesses amongst the great lords. Lord and originator of all moist nature, Osiris, spiritual procreates and nourishes, triangle in nature, again referred to the theology of arithmetic and wine. Dionysus Hyas, Lord of Moist Nature, Epaphus Dionysus, Osiris and the Heliopolitan Serapis. As a reminder, Hypatia was a committed philosopher to Serapis and she was torn apart at the temple of Serapis by a bunch of fraudulent zealots of Gnostic sect of Christianity, sectarians of Hebrews. Now, Eros, the binding part, the fusion, is Osiris, one of the most lasting creation of gods in Eros, Hydia and Agape, translating it back into the human language. Hades, the body, Dionys Dionysus, or Dionysian tomb, incarnation, that is, Osiris, also Pluto, like Plutonia, gates to the underworld, triangle in nature. Harmonia, daughter of Aphrodite and Ares. It is interesting to say that Esculap and Harmonia were considered dragons and they were worshipped as serpent or dragon goddesses and gods. Now the elder Horus is called as Apollo, that is individuated as a god and incarnated like the Horus of Edfu into the pharaoh for the time of co-ruling. This is the picture and vision of the world to come. This, this is the great foresight and insight into things to come, having a clairvoyant ability and great wisdom. Now Harpocrates, the child of Isis and Osiris, the teacher of rational insight, it is related the child to the elder Horus, as the Apollonic rational insight. Helios, the son, the brother of Apophis that was mentioned, Osiris and Typhon into an aspect, Hephaestus, the fire, Hera, the air, quadrilateral in nature. To mention, we need to understand divinities not only in theological terms, but also in the geometrical, mathematical, modes of worship, mythological as great powers, great demons, as very profound forces and as very, very simple as well as highly complex phenomena that have nothing to do with physics or matter. Now Heracles, a god who was once a good diamond, again those initiated into Eleusinian mysteries or Egyptian chemical mysteries that were thrown down the abyss, or Tartarus, or Hades, become good demons, damos. This Heracles was already a second Hippocratic, well, hermetic in the formula of Trismegistus, he reached the second stage uh, as a good daemon, and as a third one he became a god. So spirit which overpowers and divides. Hermanubis, as Anubis was explained, already Hermes, the creator of Epagomeno days, the deformed in his arms, discoverer of writing, music and poetry, dog but not literally. He is also portrayed as a dog-headed loyal Herm Anubis, father of Isis, there are many significant other symbols of dogs in the ancient days, however, I will not mention them right now. 
girl of cow head dressed in Isis, was discerning of the gods. The art of discernment is important in reason or logos, the creative world of the magician of the gods of the divine. Like in the Chaldean mysteries, Inges, the divine words, magical symbols that flow throughout the universe. A recipient of festival of 19th of first um, month or the kinds of that month and that would be the well, not 21st either's close. Tears of sinews of typhoon traveler in the moon witness for Horus in his trial. Hermes books record of sacred names. These sacred names are in Egypt called Ren. Ren meant the name that was deified, and nobody whose name was deified could be slain in soul or in body because he was eternalized in the book of the sacred names. Hestia, quadrilateral in nature, Heroes Olympus, son of Typhon, no idea, Horomazes, creator of good, Horus as Apollo, hypotenuse of the most beautiful triangle, so triangle, hypotenuse. Maturing and mingling of the surrounding air, Min, a different god, the Nile, also of Isis and Horus of Apollo, the perceptible world and image of what is spiritually intelligible. So that what we can imagine and understand intelligibility among the world so and the creative great intellects. And that what we may perceive with senses, with our minds, souls, intellects and other hidden senses, the perfected achievements of a man or a woman, power in charge of the sun, the heliotic deity, and over the terrestrial worlds that is both Saturn and sun in significance, because Saturn is related to the sun as the highest Chaldean, at least in Chaldean or the planet that governs. For example, the Horus of the Twin Horizons was called Saturn Janus in Egypt. Eye of the Moon, Eye of the Sun, Soul of Orion. Orion is also called Abraxas or Abrasax and it is called the seven guarding flames of Osiris. So uh, Osiris, Osiris, Isis are better in matter of sexual love. Athena, Atheri, as mentioned before, the great winds of the cosmic souls, base of the most beautiful triangle, creation or generation, Earth, female principle in nature, first of the muses in Hermopolis, Great demon elevated to deity, has standing with understanding, rendering the understanding by shedding the veils to the mistress or initiates. Justice decays in, the, in Hermopolis, matter, not the physis of Hecate, the dark demonic matter, but the matter that is ordered. Mephia, the moon, Selene, the isle of the bliss, mouth, that is the breath that is related to the Osirian divine breath of the cosmic spaces and the Logos that is issued forth. Myriad named, for she is many named, Persephone, Persephassa as the underworld aspect, receptive principle in procreation, Tethys, what is above the earth and manifest. Furthermore, Isis, the body of earth fructified by Nile, image of the cow, or the counterpart of the bull of the sun, the soul of the star, Sotis or Sirius. Eudos, son of Typhon, Kore, with the matter spirit which permeates the earth and crops, Mata, Hele or Isis, Metir Isis, Men Horus, Mithras, Mitra, the Mediator, the great Mitraic Mysteries. Neves, father of Apis, Mouth, Isis, Nemanus, Athenais, Neftis, Aphrodite, also the ends, as I have said, Omega, or the end in the Greek alphabet of the earth. Okay, after Nike victory, 
the victory Talauta and in the eschaton of Egypt in millions of millions of years, what is below the earth and invisible, yet the Talauta or and should be linked to the final victory or conquering of the abyss in millions of millions of years time. Nila Nile efflux of Osiris Horus Osiris Okeanus or Annes Dagon Osiris the depths of the cosmic sea. Omphis benefactor Osiris Orion Soul of Horus hmm. and also Orion Abrax Abrasax and Abraxas is linked to Mitra. I can find research on that, but not right now. Osiris Apis da 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 Paphos Eros, founder of civilization, general. That is because some decided to reduce gods and goddesses to past generals and kings, and that was a naive view. King of the dead, mind and reason in the soul, which is important. The intellectual principles in the soul that are modulated by our minds physical hella brains. Okeanus Omphis Pluto power in charge of the wind and cosmic winds Serapis Serapion Seiros Sun Helios Tundu There we go. This is repeating Argo is also the vessel of the stars, the Argonauts. There uh, we go. Persephone has wind rushing through the crops. Poseidon, the first cube, the first cube of the universe and the cube of Saturn, spirit which permeates the cosmic sea and ocean. Rhea, or the concubine of Saturn, Kronos, as well as Ops, that is a concubine of Saturn, that is Earth. Quadrilateral in nature, Serapis, coffin of the Apis, Epaphus, he who orders the universe, joy and gladness, also a power in charge of the cosmic winds of the underworld too, that is Tartarus. Let's avoid Tartarism here and focus on Gigantomachia, if you enjoy the pun. Selene, Moon Isis, Mother of the World, that was exchanged later by that Levantine raped female that gave birth to two brothers, that is Thomas Judas and Jesus Judas. Judas means just brother in Aramaic, but let's ignore them. Do not and never confuse Heros Heros Isis with Virgin Mary, because Virgin Mary is basically a construct that offends Isis, although she was to a woman. So, smooth was Typhon, smooth. Tartarus, Typhon, exactly. The strength to Tartarus means acquiring the gifts of the Ambrosia of gods. Ambrosia is a secret that I won't betray. Telauta. Tetis, Isis. What else do we have here? Typhon. That's a secret. 56 sided polygon in nature. It's not 12, not 14, not 16, but 56. I believe that after this particular polygon and the complexity that emerges in the polydimensionality, everything turns into a mess or complete chaos. This is the last stable structure, demonic and hellish though, that is capable of holding itself until it collapses into great demonic chaotic hells that even Ishtar didn't understand as it was written in Akkadian annals. So, mm, see, also Seth. That is not exact in myth the Seth was conquering Typhon, although Seth was also somehow the father of Typhon. In other myths, Shadow of the Earth, which causes eclipse of the moon, Tartarus again, born of iron, 
hippopotamus that was considered the animal of Seth and pig was considered the animal of Seth as unclean animals. Yet given Seth due justice, he is among the Ennead of the justice upon the ship of the stars. So Zeus Amon, Dodecagon, 12 in nature, that's why a Dodecagonic structure is considered to be the little model of the universe or the hyperionic machinery. The cube, the dodecagon, and that is interesting that here it is understood as the sun or the iris. Thank you. Have a good night.